Ever wonder how to tell if your pineapple is ripe and ready to be eaten? For starters, take a sniff. Sniff the bottom. If it smells sweet and pineapple-y, then it is ripe. Next tip, grab the little pointy things in the center and give a tug. If it comes out easily, it's ripe and ready to eat. So we're gonna start by lopping off the top. Now hang on to this because you can put this in water, it'll grow roots and then you plant it and then in about a year, you'll have a new pineapple. Then we're gonna take off the bottom. Oh, this thing smells so good. Now, if you are um, vertically challenged like I am, you're gonna to wanna to switch now from the countertop cutting board to a cutting board in the sink. So I'm gonna place this in the sink. Let me arrange the camera. Okay. Um, I do this because I'm short and I need the leverage. Tall people can do it on the counter. We're gonna take our pineapple wedger and we're gonna rock it down. Now when it gets to the bottom, you wanna take the base place it under and use that to pop it through. Now we've got these four little, here let me bring the camera back up. So we popped it through. We now have these four pieces. We have our perfect pineapple. Let's put that in. Let's put that in. Our pineapple is wedged or sliced, cored. Um, we're going to take the core. This is going to go into the freezer in a little plastic bag or in our Pamper Chef silicone storage bags because this is gonna go into a pitcher of water next time I'm serving water and it'll enhance my water. So we're gonna put this aside for now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Pamper Chef kernel cutter, take off the safety guard, and we're gonna scrape all the meat from inside each of these shells. And once we do all four of them, we're gonna have about maybe a third of a cup to a half a cup of crushed pineapple. So no more needing to buy cans of crushed pineapple at the store because it's full of garbage anyway and it's yucky. So I grabbed the Pamper Chef Quick Slice. Let me rearrange some things on the cutting board. Here we have our pile of crushed pineapple that we made. Put the knife out of the way so I don't stab myself. And we're gonna take these halves of the pineapple, place it on the Quick Slice, Whoops, hold on, went sideways. There we go, because I want slices. And the same rocking motion as we did for the pineapple wedger, and we get perfect little uniform slices. So there's just no need to ever buy pineapple at the store. It's so gross anyway, the canned stuff. Buy your fresh pineapple, slice it up yourself, core it the whole nine yards. Um, but here's the thing. Wasting food is like a mortal sin in my world. I do not like wasting food. So there's more to this. Okay, we've got all our pineapple slices, perfectly sliced. Now remember those, hang on, let me rinse my hands. Ah. Remember those, um, those like the shells of the pineapple? These pieces that I scraped all the pineapple out of, it's in the pile over here that you can't really see. The next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna put these in the fridge for tomorrow night, but uh, what's gonna happen with them tomorrow night is I'm gonna place a few shrimp and like chicken tenders raw on here, season them up um, probably with our jerk seasoning, place another pineapple over, like a pineapple shell over top, put them on my baking stone and roast them. So I'm gonna have shrimp and um, chicken, pineapple infused. You're gonna think you're on the islands. You're gonna hear the steel drums. It's gonna be served with a little coconut rice and a vegetable and I've got an amazing dinner and I've wasted nothing and I've really utilized just about every part of this pineapple. The only part not being utilized is the butt end. Um, but we're gonna plant this so I can grow some pineapples in my yard. We've got our slices, we've got our shells that we're gonna use for cooking our shrimp and chicken. We've got the core that's gonna go into the freezer and that's gonna infuse my waters. One pineapple, look how much we get out of it. So save your money, utilize every part of your food when you have the right tools, and it makes for great snacking. Mm. So good. It's like the sweetest thing ever.